Wall Street analyst says XRP will rise, citing David Schwartz. All right, quote unquote, Wall Street analyst. <laughs> Let's find out what's going on today. Every single day, there's something interesting happening with crypto and especially XRP. So it says this, while XRP may not be a well-performing token, they start right away with the shots. You see how that works? Like, why do people start off with the negativity? Start your day off with positivity. Feel good. Speak good. Speak positivity into your life, right? Work positivity into your life. Build positivity into your life. I could tell these type of people wake up, roll over in the bed. Ah, stay day sucks. The day didn't even start. Gee, start your article off with some positivity. It'll go further, I promise you. But it says this. A renowned financial analyst from Wall Street believes XRP is primed for significant growth by citing its potential role in becoming the world's trustless reserve currency. Listen, they've been talking about it possibly being a world world reserve currency for a while now. I know they have certain relationships with certain countries. We, we'll see if they can pull it off. If they can pull it off, that would be so epic. Um, it would be unbelievable. And yes, if they can pull that off with the relationships that they have, and they have good relationships in China, they have good relationships in, in um, the main region all over there, uh, the UAE, Saudi Arabia, they have good relationships in Africa, for sure. Um, Ripple has good relationships in Europe, good relationships in Latin America. It's just a matter of what they're going to be able to pull off and nobody knows, nobody will know until that SEC case is over and Ripple can really, really play. And they, they can really focus. And I think they got a few few surprises. I don't know what, but I just feel it. I know it. I know how they operate. I feel like they have a few surprises they're sitting on waiting to pull out of their bag. But we'll, we'll see. We shall see. It says, in a recent post on X, why everything happens on X? My goodness, man. People spread things around. You know what I noticed? People just... They, they, they start to crowd up in one area too much. And then at some point in the future, that area is either dead or it goes south or it's just a festering pool of negativity and nobody wants to be there. Now everybody's stuck on that thing. Like, like you look at Facebook, for example. Facebook used to be all the rage after MySpace went down. And now all I hear is people say, I don't like to be on Facebook, but you're still on Facebook. You're still on Facebook. Um, and then everybody's just cooked up on Facebook as far as it being that place where like all the all their family members are connected and all these people are connected. It's like spread that around a little bit. But people are too afraid to do something new. That's why I noticed about people. They don't like to do something new. Um, they like to do what everybody else is doing. Everybody else goes to this token. They go into this token. Everybody else goes to this website. They go into that website. Um, I'm different. I do what I do. I walk my path. I make my own decisions. But. I'm from a rebellious age. You're talking about, listen, in the old school, we were rebellious. <laughs> I'm telling you, we'll take the, uh, uh, the the bike tire, back tire pops, front tire pops. We'll take a completely different color tire and put it on that bike right? <laughs> and get the ride. And no, the, the, you just find a bike in the trash. Somebody just throws a bike in the trash. Remember that? They just throw it in the trash. You take a wheel from this one. Because this they have a wheel just sitting around somewhere. You take a wheel from there. You take this one here and you put that together with that bike. You have a Frankenstein bike just riding around. Do you know that's how we rode around sometimes in old school? Just riding around on a bike with no brakes. You stop the bike with your feet. I know, I know. This is blowing some, this is blowing some of the youth mind. They've never seen nothing like that before. Not in a lifetime. You stop the bike with your feet. You better not hit a hill. A hill. You better not hit a hill. You better not go down a hill. No, you better. You're going to have a, what's that called? A NDE. You're going to have a near death experience. Mm -hmm. You're going to see, see all types of life, your, 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 uh, moments in your life flash before your eyes. You go down that hill without those brakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were hardcore like that as children. Yeah, that's right. Uh huh. Anyway, it says in a, re did we read that part already? <laughs> already? In a recent post on X. Wall Street analyst Linda Jones sought to reassure XRP holders. Linda, uh, Miss Jones, you don't need to assure anybody. Let them do what they want. Let them do what they want. Don't stress yourself out. I'm telling you. But I get it. I get it. I, I don't know what your interest is here. Uh, if you really believe in it being a world reserve currency like I do, the banks using XRP, it does. Retail doesn't matter. That's up to them if they want to stay in, if they want to get in. Right. When that big money starts flowing in, that's up to them. XRP is a completely different beast. 
Then these other these other coins, tokens. That's how I look at it. And some people do believe in that retail aspect. That's but that's for them. I'm not here to worry about what some other person is is, is uh, uh believing in. That's for them. We have to do what we have to do. You world reserve currency, me, banks, right? I'm here for that bank money. But anyway, it says Linda Jones sought to reassure XRP holders amid persistent concerns about the assets underperformance. I'm not concerned at all, at all. That's just me. I only speak for myself. You know, they've been building. Nothing's nothing's changed for the negative is only changed for the positive. But you know what it is? Like I said, there's a lot of desperation because there's a lot of pain being pain being felt in the United States right now. Things are getting harder every single day. People just got to admit it. It's getting harder every single day. Things are getting more expensive. They need that money now. Like before, not so much. Now, yeah, pressure's on. Pressure's on. And all the people need is just their favorite people to tell them. That's all they needed. As an excuse, as a safety blanket, as a mask, right? They wear the opinions of other people. This person said it's going down. They said it's going down. They said it's not good. No, you always, in your heart, you know. That there's certain reasons that you want to get out of that protocol. And that's okay. That's what people don't understand. That's okay. That's okay. You don't need a reason. That's okay. You don't need anybody to join you either. That's okay. Do what you have to do. But there's very few people that put their guard up and stand there and do what they have to do naked. Naked. And only exuding the truth. There's not a lot of truth in this world. There's not. But... They're going to do what they need to do. They're going to do what they want to do. You're battling up. You're fighting an uphill battle. But hey, if this is the fight you want to fight, so be it. It says uh, so. But I but personally, no, I'm not concerned at all. As a matter of fact, I'm super bull. I'm bullish, to, more bullish than I was before. We're so close to the ending of that case. That's just one major catalyst. They haven't even been making a lot of big announcements lately. And what do I say? Every time they get quiet, suddenly out of nowhere, they start coming out with big announcements. So I'm not concerned with that. You got to turn at some point in life. I feel like people have to learn to turn their head towards the positivity. It's either one of the two. You either live to become a festering, um, just angry person because life has beat you down and you were weak enough to absorb that same negativity and hate that the world gave you. And then you become that beast. You look into the abyss long enough to become the abyss. You look into the monster's eyes, the monster of life's eyes long enough to become the monster. Or you choose that harder path where you become better, stronger. You're a fighter. You know how to be resilient. You don't let things get you down. You make your own decisions. You stand on those decisions and you move forward in strength. That's real strength. To stand by your word. That's real strength to say, this is what I believe then and this is what I believe now. And not switch up, not change up. But you got to make those decisions on your own. I'm just saying if there's no negative impact on one's life that's strength but if there's a negative impact and you say say to yourself well hey man i gotta i gotta make some moves you know in old school they would say well, i have to bust some moves you know and um I, I gotta get i gotta move some of this capital i gotta pay bills or something like that you do what you have to do you don't need anybody's uh yes or okay for that you go ahead you do what you gotta do not financial advice not, nothing on here is advice i'm just giving a whole lot of me a whole lot of me on this youtube this is the you aspect of the tube of my tube here okay so anyway so it says here jones argued that worries that xrp may remain stagnant without significant growth are short-sighted views i agree with that she pointed to a statement from ripple's CTO David Schwartz suggesting that countries could adopt digital assets like XRP as a global reserve currency. This assertion and and I don't know if I covered this in a regular subscriber video or the members only video. I get them all confused. I've been putting out so much content lately, but there's a lot of umbras. There's a lot of negativity towards the U.S. dollar as one of the world reserve currencies. A whole lot of it. And there's a whole lot of worry within the U.S. government about the fate of the U.S. dollar, whether the people like it or not, because the people immortalize things. I learned that as well over this life. The people say, well, believe that something is infallible. It can never fall. It can never go down while there's the leaders that they vote in, the leaders that they look up to, the leaders that they believe in, because somehow those people are getting into those positions. Somebody's voting for the people. Somebody's putting them up there. But those same people will be saying 
simultaneously while the regular people immortalize something and raise it up to a godlike level, the, those same leaders will say, hey, we got a problem. Hey, look at what's going on with this particular mechanism of ours, like the dollar in the world. Look at what's going on. Because they can't escape that reality. While the people really, they just hear something on the go. They hear something while they're moving around in the world and they just take that and that becomes law, even though it's not law. It's like a, it's a comfort blanket. You know, that's how I look at it. And so and, and the distraction, the distractions of life. You know, and people have so many distractions. It doesn't allow them to see that something else could rise. It doesn't allow them to see that something else old could diminish. It doesn't allow them to see that they're watching their sports. They're chasing after their 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 um, their relationship potentials and things of that nature. They're chasing after capital. They're chasing after their children. Too many distractions. It doesn't allow them to see the truth of what's going on in the world. It just doesn't. It won't allow them to accept it either. And there's a lot of fear, a lot of fear to lose what was, to lose what you believe in instead of letting go. Sometimes the ship is going down. You got to let go and get on that raft. The raft is not pretty at first, but it's going to save you. It's not pretty. You know, XRP is like that. The new financial system is like that. Crypto as a whole is like that. Because according to reports, even though Bitcoin is taking off and a lot of cryptos are actually doing very well as far as sentiment with certain demographics, the majority of United States still very much doesn't agree with crypto. So but so it's, the raft is not pretty at first, but it's, it can save you. It can say for sure it can save you. We'll see if they get on that raft at some point. Man. It says, quote, all this concern that XRP will never rise in price is debunked by David Schwartz's comment, unquote, Jones remarked. It said, uh, let's see, does she say any more? Because they just clipped a little piece. It says all this concern that XRP price will never rise debunked with David Schwartz's comment in a space about how countries didn't want another country creating a new world reserve currency because it gives that country too much control over others. Didn't I say that before for years? I've been saying that. I told you, I've been saying that for a long time. They don't want that control anymore. There's been absolute domination by the West, mostly the United States over the whole world. They don't want it anymore. It's, it it, it uh, stunts their growth. It stunts the prospects of life. They get used and abused. That's just the way it is when there's a power structure like that that doesn't come from oneself. That's how it is. The people are, are beginning to want to look out for I. Like that, that I is coming out now. They're, they, you know, they, they've, they've seen through the, the mist, the fog. They don't want to hold hands and skip down the block anymore with the U.S. and the West. I don't blame them. Hey, I want, I, listen, I want wherever I'm at to win. But I understand when others want to win their way as well. I completely understand that. And at the times are changing and, they, and the people around the world, you know, a long time ago, uh, I remember a lot of people in the West used to look down upon people in other worlds. I know that. Trust me on this 100 percent, because I grew up around a lot of people that came from a lot of a lot of different places. And now those people have become rapidly advanced. Um, some of their land is even more beautiful than a lot of places in the U.S., much more affordable. You got a lot of U.S. people. I told people this before. They laughed at it. Now you're seeing it. Now there's some of the people that want to do this. Many people leaving the U.S. to go live elsewhere because it's more beautiful. It's more affordable. A lot of people are making money on the go anyway. They're not going to a physical location. What do you need to stay in the U.S. for? So now you get yourself a giant house somewhere near the beach. <laughs> well priced. It's quiet. Peaceful. Oh, yeah. And there's another thing that's very easily found in a lot of other places. Some, what's that thing called? It's a little thing called love. People just welcome you right in, you know, fixing you food. You become part of the family. Everybody hugging you, laughing. It's peace and quiet. There's no art. It's not a whole lot of arguing going on. And all that stuff in the West that's normalized in the West. All that tension, all that tension is just you just shimmy shaking that tension off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so and so times are changing. They're looking out for I. The I is coming out and the world is changing, folks. And the people are starting to wake up to that. So they don't want 
someone else's currency dominating dominating them. Hence, the possibility at a massive deployment of the new financial system, where where multitudes of countries introduce DLT based systems. They'll all use different systems. That's a great thing for us as interoperability providers, as liquidity providers. All of their different systems are incompatible. We bring the compatibility. How about that? So now. Let's see. Let's see what else we have here. XRP as a global reserve currency. Notably, Ripple CTL proposed this idea last year during an X space conversation. During the forum, Schwartz answered a question about the potential co coexistence of two global reserve currencies. What? Wait a minute. See, stuff like this. The coexistence of two global reserve currencies. They're talking about a major. They're only talking about a major. Wait a minute. Hold on. How many... Let's go to Google. How many global reserve currencies are there? Now, see how they said that? And this is why it's important to do research. And I showed this before because I don't know what these people are talking about sometimes. They only think of the dollar. It's like, oh, it just frustrates me sometimes. They think of the dollar is they think the dollar is the only world reserve currency. Once again, let me read that again before I go to this here. Wait a minute. Wait one moment. It says during the forum, Schwartz answered a question. So someone asked him this question about the potential coexistence of two global reserve currencies. But wait, what does the IMF say? The International Monetary Fund. What do they say? Here's from Council. This is from the Council of Foreign Relations on Foreign Relations. CFR.org. So the International Monetary Fund, the body responsible for monitoring international monetary systems, recognizes eight. Sorry about that. Some of my frustration come out a little bit. Recognizes eight major reserve currencies. Eight. So if that is the case, ladies and gentlemen, why couldn't some of these either die off? Because they're doing so terrible or die off and be replaced. Or why couldn't a new one be added? Once again, the International Monetary Fund recognizes eight major reserve currencies. Eight. The Australian. That's what they're talking about. They just want XRP to be a reserve currency. The Australian dollar, the British pound sterling, the Canadian dollar. Do, uh, is, is, let me ask you a question. Is the Canadian dollar doing well? Is the uh, British pound sterling doing well? Is the Chinese renminbi, the Chinese renminbi, is that doing well? The euro. So what are you talking about? You're talking about preferred, glo the preferred global reserve currency? The Because that's what you got to be talking about because there's multiple reserve currencies. The euro. The Japanese yen, is the yen doing well? Is their financial system doing well? The Swiss franc and U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar. So, it's just that the U.S. dollar is preferred. But, what you got to take into account is this. If you're talking about preferred uh, reserve currency, the dominant reserve currency, sure, I get that. But it's not the only reserve currency. So now, look at the debt that is being built up by the U.S. How many countries are going to want to deal with U.S. bonds if the debt keeps rising and they can't and the U.S. can't service those bonds at some point because the U.S. is broke. The U.S. is broke and it's not loved anymore. It's not loved. It's not praised anymore. It's not looked at this big, bad action hero anymore, even though you might say it, it probably still is that I'm talking about the appearance. Appearance matters. Appearance matters, folks. That's why the king wears a crown, a cape, and all that nonsense. It's all nonsense. It's just uh, superficial uh, means by exuding what the people want to see as being the best. What the people worship, the king wears it all. Well, the king is dirty right now. Dirty, filthy. Looks like a bum right now. I'm just calling it how it is. I'm calling a spade a spade. So when you take off that veneer, 
and you injure your, your own self. The king has stabbed its own self. Well, still not its own self. Well, let's shorten that. The king has stabbed itself. With all the rising debt, you hear politician after politician, not that they're worth their salt really at all. No disrespect. I just don't. I just don't like these politicians. I don't think they're very um, intellectually gifted. And I don't think that they're very uh, genuine. It's just my humble opinion. But I mean, no disrespect with that. We just have a difference of opinion. But <clears throat> even they have been saying, talking about their concerns, right? They removed the debt cap. So the dollar is in great jeopardy. Great jeopardy. Now, don't get me wrong. Look, military power. By, as far as military power and what they show and what they say about the U.S., the U.S. is still very dominant. Reserve currency or not, people got to understand that, too. Is it the dollar that really gives America, the United States' power or is it all the military bases all around the world? Go look at a map of the military bases. So when you think in that way and you think of that in that favor for a favor, mm, real, real uh, mob type stuff. Favor for a favor. A lot of people owe oh, United States a favor. At least they believe they do. Remember with the when Saudi Arabia, the whole Saudi Arabia issue where Saudi Arabia for a long time, because the U.S. had helped them out in some way in the past. I forgot which way it was, but look that up. I'm not just saying that. Look that up. So you, the U.S. had helped them out in some sort of way. This is what they allege. And Saudi Arabia, Arabia felt some loyalty to the U.S. Well, that definitely wore away recently, didn't it? It definitely did. That wore off. Now they don't feel they owe the U.S. anything. In fact, they feel disrespected by the U.S. or they feel the U.S. owes them for a lot of what they were doing, you know, especially in, you know, pretty much inventing the petrol dollar. And now they have moved on to get real shoulder to shoulder and hugged up with BRICS, the BRICS nation. Hmm. Right. So things like that are changing rapidly. United States is changing rapidly. XRP having a chance to be a reserve currency. I put a few up there. A few of these bank coins have a chance to do it, whether they can actually do it or not. That's a different, completely different discussion. I would love to see it. If, they, if it does happen, you're talking about the most mind blowing run of all time, of all time. It has to be for a mainstream crypto. It has to be you. I mean, the FOMO that you will see at that time, if that indeed occurs, if that indeed occurs, will be out of this world, out of this world. Um, and at that point, at that point, I think the powers would get involved. Um, and I don't put any positivity on the word power when I speak about the powers of the world. I don't. But they do have power. They move things here and there. They are forces to be reckoned with for sure. But I think the, the global powers will move in. And the big companies are, look, the companies really <laughs> run everything. You want to be real. The companies run everything. I've seen it firsthand. I've heard how people talk about certain politicians firsthand that have big money, big money. And so that led me to believe when I was in my youth, like, oh, so they must run things. It's like, ugh, I've seen so many things in my lifetime. It, it's just, it, it was very eye opening. I'll just say that. So anyway, the companies from my experience, they run everything. Their money makes everything go around. So they would step in. Then countries would step in also. And I think that that would run that price up unbelievable if that occurred. And I would definitely want that to happen. I really listen. I really, really want to see the future of XRP. Like what is going to what is going to be? I want to be there. I do. I feel it inside. It's not something like you see. Yeah, I'm not going to get too deep. I'm not going to get too deep. I don't need to contrast. But I'm a real believer in XRP. Like just from all the research that I've done. That's just how I feel. I don't ask anybody to feel the same. You do what you need to do. So <laughs> this is a very different video. I had about nine articles we didn't get to. So I'll probably will make a members only video. I'll probably put it out, put it out tomorrow because I, I did like three members only videos in a row. Um, so and this will be a much more hefty one. So I might put it out tomorrow. But check out the members only video if you didn't already that I put out yesterday. I think all of these recent ones, I did like three in a row, I believe, been very, very potent. In my humble opinion, because there's something coming and there's a changing of a guard. All of these things I'm covering over there right now, trust me, it's going to come in handy in the future. It all links to the new financial system. But overall, more than that, it, it affects people's lives, lives. So now that you have that information, what are you going to do with it? I know what I'm going to do with this. So until next time, everybody, let's get to the money.